What is a library? Is it simply a building, bricks and mortar? Is it just a collection of books? Is this a library? Or this? In Detroit, our library can teach you to read. It can help you to become job ready. It's a place where a diverse community comes together. The Detroit Public Library is more than a collection of buildings. It's a place that teaches, informs, entertains, and inspires. This is our story, and it's all about you. In the 21st century, the explosion of technology is undeniable. The internet has become a multimedia experience. Ebooks, tablets, and smartphones are everywhere. So where does the library fit in this new universe? Technology is what has made the library consistently relevant to the community. There is not a day you open up a door in a public library. DPL is an example of that. They are here because of technology and what that technology means to them. You are now connected to the world. You go on the internet, but we also have the opportunity to show what else the library has to offer. This is, come on in, you see what we have. Technology, everybody wants to be connected, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, and some people don't have that means to be connected. The library has served that role. While books and special programs are the staple of a library experience, for thousands of Detroiters, the Detroit Public Library is the place to get connected. The system has over 700 public computers that are connected to the internet. For many customers, the internet is simply an introduction to the other services and experiences the library has to offer. But then they realize there are other things to do here. You can come in here for a conversation, you can meet an author, or you can participate in a craft program. You can come for Junior Great Books on Saturdays and discover that not only are we reading books, we're talking about books. We're being taught to think critically and to converse, to give your, your opinions of things. So it's not just technology, but it is technology laced with a whole lot of other things that a public library allows you to discover and then develop. The library provides a broad range of programs that serve young people from new readers to teens. 12-year-old Tarangana has been involved in the library's signature programs, summer reading and junior grade books. The summer reading program, that got me started in loving books. I started in first grade. I read small books, but as I started reading, that got me very good with it, and I started reading more and more books. Books teach us about people, about how they're feeling, about their surroundings, about our surroundings. Every book has a different moral. It teaches us about our life, why we live, how we live. For 17-year-old Nicholas Tripp, the library's Junior Great Books program is a family tradition. All five of his brothers and sisters have participated in the bi-weekly reading program. He's been moved to give back. I've been involved in Junior Great Books since second grade. I just um, received a plaque last year for over six years of participation. So this year I wanted to kind of give back to the program and help by being a junior grade books leader. I work with fourth graders and try and help them with their communication skills and building confidence because I know it builds great character and that's what junior grade books did for me. Support and funding for special programs like summer reading and junior grade books comes from the Friends Foundation of the Detroit Public Library. Well the Friends Foundation actually works for the citizens who use the Detroit Public Library. It is all about the customers. It's all about the people who come here wanting access to materials and resources. And the Friends, through their gracious uh, support, both financial and um, helping with, with people resources, uh, provide that linkage. Our big program and, and the mainstay of any public library, the summer reading program, where not only do we provide literature and books for reading, but enrichment activities, story hours, um, animal cores coming to the buildings, and just fun, just fun and energy so that you come to your public library, you recognize the role it has in your community, and it becomes a haven, a haven not only for the young people but for the adults as well. 
The DPL's HYPE Center offers after-school programs designed especially for teens. HYPE stands for Helping Young People Excel, and the after-school programs are designed to help them develop and, and interact with one another to be inspired by each other as well as by uh, the programs that are presented. They range from fashion shows to writing poetry, seeing other authors come in, not just authors, but people that are professionals in, in various careers and so forth. And it is designed to help them excel. The range of other services and programs is diverse. We have special collections that are housed at the main branch. We have a music collection. We have a historical collection called the Burton Collection that uh, catalogs the history of the city of Detroit and some of its most famous uh, residents and industries. We have the National Automotive History Collection that's housed at the Skillman branch that really catalogs the history of the automobile industry. The Technology, Literacy, and Career Center takes computer skill development to the next level. Whether it's support for displaced workers seeking to improve their job skills or create a new resume or support for new readers, the TLC Center provides knowledge and support. What I do is I show them how to think about their own experiences, how to look at what the job qualifications are and to see the similarities. Then of course I help them with the little details like well how to copy and paste, you know, how to attach the resume, how to open the email, just the whole process of, you know, getting the passwords, getting the IDs, writing them down. Um, developing some type of discipline so that you remember these things. I was tired of sitting at home and I said, I'm gonna go get a job. So I came to the library and I met uh, Miss Dorothy and she helped me do a resume. She helped me uh, set it up online. She helped me send them out over the internet. In addition to helping those seeking to enhance their employment skills, the library is committed to assisting new readers break the cycle of illiteracy. For James Thomas, not being able to read meant a loss of dignity and privacy. On Detroit's west side, with the help of an $866,000 grant from the Knight Foundation, a technology, literacy, and career center has been established at the Parkman Library. Tutor William Hill has helped Mr. Thomas improve his reading level. I got tired um, asking somebody else to read my mail and stuff like that. And then it was pretty hard for me to, like, um, if I go to get a, a driving license, I got to, you know, have somebody to read what I supposed to, you know, sign and all that. And more or less that came to a time that I figure I should be able to do that for myself. I go to an employment office and to fill out papers, you know. I can't fill them out, I have to ask somebody. Then I have to look around and see who I could ask that wouldn't embarrass me, you know. When I was in the service, I had to get guys to write letters to my wife. It's a seriousness about the library, the environment. You know, when you come in, you it's easier to concentrate because there aren't as many distractions but also they get the feeling that people are here definitely to help them, you know, in any way that we can. And uh, it's just a serious learning environment. I think it's, it's much easier when you go into a certain environment, you know, that's about learning, about academics. The Detroit Public Library's community outreach efforts were highlighted by an amazing mural produced by local students in partnership with the College for Creative Studies. This is a mural and we never named it, but to my way of thinking, it's a, it's a fantasy piece. It's a way to, to look at different portions of it and grab from it to tell stories and oral storytelling. And, and also, we can connect, we could name several books that directly relate to what's in the, the mural. Whenever you do some, a mural like this that people will see and people will know that you um, helped with, you impact the community and you make it a better place. If you come here to see it, every time you come you probably can see something different and it can ignite a, a fire, an interest in learning, um, a story, an adventure for young people that nothing else like that could do. I feel like this mural is everything that 
reading could be. All the place that reading can take you. It's vibrant and it, it's, it's creativity, basically. The creativity and uh, um, imagination that you can, you can get from reading. DPL has three libraries that serve Southwest Detroit, which has a growing Hispanic population. There are bilingual staff members there to serve these customers. Pues me ayuda a mí porque aquí encuentro para ayudarles ellos en la escuela libros y también aquí luego hay que hacen talleres como talleres dando información como de prevención de fuegos o se dan muchos talleres muy interesantes. Pues me gusta mucho sus trabajadoras, especialmente las que hablan inglés y español. Ellas me ayudan mucho cuando estoy buscando luego libros o que voy a buscar ayuda para mis niños en la computadora. Ellas ayudan mucho y son muy amigables todas. When you say we have something for everyone, we were able to provide services for children, pre-K to 12th grade. And then we were able to help adults explore ways to increase their reading. Being all things to all people is not a bad thing. It's just that you, you have to pick and choose the things that you can be. Because you, you really, literally can't be all things, but you can do something for everyone.